Good morning. I'm Linda with Pinky Mouse Cakes, Cookies, and Candy. Pinky Mouse Sisters in the Kitchen. Uh, Mary is with uh, Chuck today. They're um, at the veterinarian. Um, Chuck's dog um, is there. They're there with him. So um, we miss Mary today, and I know y'all will miss her too, and I certainly miss her. But we're going to be making a almond, we're making an almond cream cake. Um, back in the day when I first had the notion of starting a home cottage bakery, uh, let's see, it's been, I guess it's been five years ago, next, about next month or about this time of the year, five years ago. Yeah, because I'll be 75 my birthday and I did this on my 70th birthday. So, um, I found this recipe and I tweaked it a little. You know how when you get a recipe, you always change something in it. And this was one of the recipes that I made and I would make stuff, to, I would bake stuff and then I would just get in the car and I'd take it out and give it away. And I would stop at businesses or I'd put it on Facebook and let somebody tell me they wanted it. And so this was one of the first things that I baked and gave away. I remember my very first customers and he texted me and told me, him and his wife, that that was possibly the best cake he had ever put in his mouth. It's, um, you have to beat the egg whites separate. So, uh, we're going to get started so we can get this in the oven. So, uh, a lot of memories around this cake. And I have baked it several times, but I don't bake it often. Um, now, I'm not actually putting almonds around the cake. And I'm not using the same frosting that I originally used. But I'm using the same cake batter recipe. So, I have, um whipped or mixed, um, beat, whatever you want to call it, six large egg whites. Now, when you're doing egg whites, um, I use an egg separator. A lot of people don't. Mary doesn't, but I've always used one. You want to make sure you do not get any yellow in there. Now, if you beat these ahead of time, you'll want to put them in the refrigerator until you get ready to fold them in. It's the last step, but um, because I'm doing this real quick here, I didn't put them in the refrigerator, but I am going to put them in another bowl, and I'll tell you why, is because I'm going to use this bowl to mix. It'll have a little bit of the syrupy stuff down in the bottom. So, where, how do I, where do I wanna put this? Um, okay, I was gonna put my dry ingredients in this one, but I'll just use this medium bowl. So, I'm going to just take my bent, my bowl scraper and just put this down in this bowl. Actually, there's not any syrup in it. That was the whole, whole idea of using the same bowl or either somebody didn't want to dirty another bowl. I don't know, maybe that was it. And I'm dirty to another bowl. So I'm just gonna put this aside and I'm gonna put all of my ingredients in here. But first of all, I guess I need to back up just a second. First of all, um, I'm going to get my dry ingredients together. And I'm using cake flour. So, let me just set this aside here. So, I'm going to put my cake flour, my salt, and baking soda in this bowl and whisk it together. And I want three cups. I'm using Swan's cake flour. I want three cups of flour, cake flour, and I'm spooning it in. Because I don't want it to be packy. I have my oven set on 350. Actually, there's a little bit left on here, but I'll be I'll make sure that I don't get too much in the next cup. I already measured this out, but just thought I would show y'all. And I want to apologize about that movie, the other, that movie, that, Lord, <laughs> where's my mind at this morning? The, um, the live video that I did the other day on the sliders, uh, several people, when I went back and read the comments, um, you could clearly see that my back was in the video um, a big part of the time, and I'm very sorry about that. Um, and I, you know, I know that y'all 
try to watch what we're doing, and that was my mistake, and I'm going to try my best to do better. Uh, kind of funny because I had one woman that wasn't too nice about it. <laughs> Kept sending me nasty messages, but anyway, we get those sometimes. Um, it is going to be rainy and cold here for several days. Okay, so I've got three cups of flour. I'm going to use um, two teaspoons of baking powder. And one teaspoon of just regular salt. And I'm just going to kind of move this here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just using my spoon to kind of mix it around. So that's my, my dry ingredients dry ingredients there and get this out of the way. Um, so I'm going to set these aside. I have got my um, heart pans, flour, not flour, grease. I've got my heart pans, grease, and I've got parchment paper in the bottom and on the sides. This is an eight inch by three inch and I've got two of them. So, um, I've got those ready. Y'all know that we are sponsored by Imperial Sugar, and that's what I'm using in this recipe. Well, let me get my cake pan set aside here. Get my mixer ready. I've got two sticks of soft butter, and it is salted. And if your butter is not quite soft enough, it should be kind of where you can touch it and it'll make an indention. Uh, you can microwave it for like five seconds. Don't microwave it long because if you do, you're gonna melt it and that's not what you want if it says soft. So I'm gonna just fluff this butter up just real quick and then I'll add my sugar. That butter was soft, so it didn't need to be beat very long. And this recipe calls for one and a third cup of granulated sugar. So I'm using Imperial Extra Fine granulated sugar, one and a third. Now I promise this cake is worth all the little extra steps. Actually, it's not a lot of extra steps, but a few. Okay. I'm just going to cream this together. The good thing about using this extra fine sugar, it doesn't take as long for it to uh, cream and incorporate into your butter and, and what, you're, what you're using. But you do want to make sure that it's, you know, that it's um, all mixed in good. Okay, so I got that done. And then I'm going to add my vanilla, and I'm using clear because this is white cake. So I'm using clear. I'm going to use one teaspoon of clear vanilla. And this is Watkins, but a Wilton makes a clear vanilla, and you can also buy other brands, but I like the Watkins. Now, this is not extract. It is a blend, but it is um, it is good vanilla. It smells really, really good. I'm also using a teaspoon of uh, almond extract, and you do want the extract for this. So, I'm using a teaspoon of this. Now I'm going to put some almond flavoring in the frosting, and I'm not doing the frosting right now. Um, I will do it later, but I'm not doing it right now. Uh, okay, so we got the salt, we got the vanilla. I usually mark my things off. Okay, I've got everything but the egg whites and the milk. So let's um, kind of beat this together. Get this stirred in good. the flour with the milk and um, 
and then we're going to fold the egg whites in as the last step. I think I'm going to uh, move some of this kind of out of the way here. So I've got a little bit more room. Y'all give me just a second. got a little bit of bad news. Well, not a little, a lot of bad news over the weekend. Mike's sister's not doing well and they are uh, calling hospice in. So um, we always hate when you lose a member of the family and Janet is the oldest sibling, Mike's oldest sibling. And um, so it's been kind of a sad weekend, but um, we know that God's peace and comfort is there. And that's what we're um, that's what we're counting on. So I'm going to add some some of our dry mixture. Probably just put I don't know three or four tablespoons in at a time, and add a little bit of milk. We've got one cup of milk. Oops, I have to have two hands to do this. Carla is on the other end, so thank you, Carla, for helping me out today. Okay, we got that stirred in good. So let's add some more flour. I think I'll just dump it in like that. Do one more, one more batch. I wanted to mention our 52 weeks of giving. Uh, Mary, is, uh, Mary and I are not always going to tell y'all what we did, but every week we do something um, to make sure that um, we are honoring what we, our commitment, what we set out to do. So um, it's going to be different things each week. Some weeks it, you know, it might be something very simple, but it's what we're drawn to do. And so uh, this is what our fifth week, 52 weeks of giving. I'm going to add the rest of the flour and the baking powder and salt in. And then the rest of my milk. And I use the same cup that I did the eggs in. So it's got a little bit of that in the bottom of it too. And I want to make sure that I get all of that in there. good stuff off these beaters. I don't want to lose any of that. Now this is kind of thick, but once you fold those egg whites in, it's going to give it some more moisture. And it doesn't look like a lot of batter, but it's, it's going to be plenty for two uh, cake layers. And you may not use the, the deep pans like I do, but uh, when I first started buying cake pans, I would just buy, I bought the Fat daddy -O, but I would buy the regular um, two inch. And then I got to thinking, why do I want to buy the two inch when sometimes you want a bigger cake and sometimes there's more batter. So I started buying the three inch. So I've got some that are actually four inches deep, uh, but most of them are three inches. So you see the uh, batter there, it's, it's, it's pretty thick. And now I'm going to move a little bit more stuff. And get this out of the way. And I'm going to fold my egg whites in. And I've got my 
two pans here. Now what I do, well, I'll, I'll wait just a second to show y'all that. I'm going to just fold these egg whites in, and I'm sure y'all know how to do this, but um, the proper way to fold egg whites in is do a eight, figure eight motion. You don't want to mix them to where they're not still light and fluffy. And that's why you don't mix them with a the mixer. You you would defeat your purpose of um, folding them in if you mix them with a the mixer. I'm get, getting a bigger spatula here, so I'm just going to start real gently incorporating these in the batter. Once you start getting them kind of down a little bit, then you can do your figure eight motion. You can tell that the batter is fluffing up because you're getting these egg whites in here. And make sure when you're doing this that you get them all mixed into batter because if you don't, you're going to have some spots on your cake that is going to be egg whites and not cake batter. Got them all in there. All right. I don't think that cold front's come through yet. It seems kind of warm in this kitchen to me, probably because I got the oven on. Okay, so what I've done is I've melted about a tablespoon of butter and um, I do this sometimes when I want to um, dip my, like if you're using a cup or if you're, I can sure tell I'm standing up. My back, <laughs> my back is hurting. I usually sit down when I do stuff, but I stood up today. So this is a big cookie scoop that you get at Sam's. And I melted about a tablespoon full of butter. And I'm just going to dip my cookie scoop in here. And so it releases the cake better good. Make sure you get it all over it. And instead of just pouring the cake batter in there, I'm going to do it by uh, scoopfuls. And that way I can try to get it even. And I know these are big scoops. They're not even scoops, but I'm going to try to kind of, kind of get it even anyway. Now, if you're wondering where I got these pans, I got them at Tuesday morning. And I told y'all before, you can get Fat Daddy or pans on, order them on Amazon or whatever uh, place you shop at online. You're going to pay a whole lot more for them if you do that. And um, this is five scoops for each pan. So if you have a Tuesday morning, um, um, a TJ Maxx or Home Goods in your in your area, you know, within good driving distance, um, check those out because they get these pans and they get them in all sizes, all different kinds. Uh, but I will tell y'all something about these stores. If you see something you want, and if y'all are regular shoppers, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you see something you want, you better grab it because when you go back, it's a pretty good chance that it will not be there. So keep that in mind if you're, if you're out shopping and you just can't make up your mind if you want to get it or not. There's been many times that I've done that and gone back and they were sold out and they don't always get the same thing in twice 
you know, sometimes um, uh, they'll get something in and they will get it in again. But most of the time when they get something in and sell it, that's it. Okay, so I'm just going to smooth this out. I've got about, this was about probably five and a half scoops per pan that I got in here. And I'm just going to get this kind of smooth. Now, it's, it doesn't look like it's a lot of batter in here, but it's going to rise up and it's going to make a really pretty cake. And I'm not even sure, but I think I'm going to um, frost and decorate these as single layers. Uh, when I was um, selling to the public, there was many times that I would have a, a cake layer left over and I would sell that cake layer to um, just as a single layer because a lot of people didn't want the the big cake so they would you know they would, sometimes they would text me and say do you have any single cakes left over and uh, and a lot of times I did and a lot of times I didn't or, or if I put it on Facebook it was usually sold within like three or four minutes or something as soon as somebody saw it it was usually sold You just want to make sure that you spread the batter out and get it pretty even in here. Might be just a pinch more than that other one. I'm not sure. But if I do these as single layers, it's not going to matter anyway. Now, I when I cook these cakes, I set my timer on 25 minutes and... Um, most of the time, it's going to take several minutes longer than 25, but I, you don't want to over-bake it. So I always set it for 25 minutes, and then um, you can always cook it more. You can tell when you open the oven without even looking at it if the cake is done or not. And you want to be careful opening your oven, too. Um, if, you, if you bump your cake, like if you happen to bump the rack, um, if it's not done, that that middle's going to sink in, and you don't want that with your cake. Okay, so we got we got our cakes ready. I'm going to stick them in the oven, set the timer, and then uh, I think I have time to maybe take a few questions and answers, or a few questions, and I'll try to give the answers. I'm going to bring them camera over closer so I can see it. Got all my <coughs> stuff here that needs to be cleaned up, but we can do that later. Okay. So I've got a whole list of stuff here I gotta do today. That was the first one that I got done was the cake. I'm going to be making some um, um, marshmallow fluff. And I don't know if y'all have ever made it or not. But um, it's it's almost like um, the seven-minute frosting, but it's not quite the same recipe. So I'm going to be making some of that today. I'm also going to be making a bunch of buttercream, and I'm going to be making cupcakes because tomorrow what Mary and I are doing is we're, we're making something fun that we're going to be taking out and giving to people um, in the community. Probably a couple people in town here. Um, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make one small and one large. And for our members, you all already know this and you already have the instructions. But um, if you're not a member and you... Um, want to follow along with us tomorrow, you're going to need um, some kind of a box or a or platter or floor platter or something and some styrofoam. Um, and, and, you know, you can make do with what you've got. I learned that from my mama. And, you know, we're spoiled. We, we can go out and buy what we need most of the time. And I did buy several little extra things to go with this uh, tomorrow that we're making. But 
uh, you certainly do not have to go spend a lot of money. You can probably look in your leftover wrappings. Um, um, I don't know if y'all keep a like a little stash of wrapping paper and bows and ribbons or something, but if you do, uh, you can probably make do with that. So, um, and thank you everyone for um, keeping um, Mike's sister Janet uh, and her family in your prayers. Um, it's you know, it's a sad time, but um, like I said, we know that God's comfort is there, and he's going to see um, all of her loved ones through. So, for all of our new followers and friends, thank you so much for watching us, and uh, please share us with your friends and family and your church friends, your neighbors, and uh, make sure to tell them to go to the correct page, which is this one, if you, uh, if you need to to make sure that you're on the correct page, you can go to our website, which is www.pinkymouskitchen.com. Uh, scroll down till you see the Facebook icon and click on that, and that will take you straight to our um, Facebook page. So there won't be any uh, doubt whether you're on the right page or not. So um, Let's see, what kind of cake am I making? I'm making an almond cream cake. And um, it's going to have, now I'm not doing the frosting today on live um, because it's a whole nother process and it makes the video entirely too long. But um, I'm making um, a really nice, in fact, I think I've made this recipe before. Um, if y'all remember when I made the cherry chip birthday cake, I'm using that frosting recipe, except I'm going to tweak it. I'm going to add some almond flavoring to it. If you have a really good recipe, uh, frosting or cake, you can always change the flavor to that cake by adding, um, you know, f uh, extracts or um, like I'm going to, <laughs> I told y'all I had a lot to do today. <laughs> I've got a, a big bag of strawberries in the freezer that I bought last year at the close of the seasoning at Panola Orchards where we go every year. And I'm going to make some strawberry puree. And I'm going to be putting that in my cupcake batter. And you talk about good. That is going to be some very good cupcakes. I've got to do that today. I've got to make buttercream. And I've got to make cupcakes and um, the marshmallow fluff. So um, there was another question that somebody said, and um, I've already passed it. But I see that comment that we've never been hungry. There's a song that I used to sing years ago, and that is scripture too, I believe. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed out begging for bread. There are times that we all go through, and I've been there. Uh, no, the, I'm going to stop just a second. Um, our page here is public. It has always been public. You do not have to join any page on Facebook. Our page is public. If you see a, a page that you have to join or the fans, those none of those are authorized. They are not authorized by us. This is the only page on Facebook for Pinky Moss that you should be watching. And I don't say that to be ugly or mean, but um, there's always people that, uh, you know, want to capitalize off of somebody else's backbreaking work. <laughs> that's, that's, that's putting it really mildly. Y'all know I'm very frank with what I say. Sometimes people think uh, I come across as wrong because I'm you know, I always say I'm the Martha Mary's the Mary of the of us sisters. Uh, I'm very frank. I'm very businesslike. Um, I have a very, very soft heart. And I don't think that's something that you have to tell anyone. I hope that people can see that about me. But on the other hand, I am also very business. I'm going to tell you what I think. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. And if I do like it, I'm going to tell you. But, um, okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure that I passed by some things that I was going to answer. But um, if you're baking, and, of course, back in the day, like I said, people, they made do with what they had. Mama never had fancy cookware and bakeware and all of that. Um, 
but um, life is so short. Um, if you if you have good china, and I don't, I've got one set of dishes, and it's fine. It's it's plenty good for me and Mike. Mike is my husband, by the way. Um, use it. Get it out and use it. Over the, these last few days, and I'm not going to tell y'all about this on air. Well, Mary and I wait and tell y'all together, but life is so short. Age does not matter. Go to a cemetery and see how many people there. There are old people, but there are also young people too. Life is short. Take that chance. Do something that you've wanted to do for a long time. Don't be worried about, you know, what, you know, should I do this or should I not do this? You know, it's it's just we don't have the promise of tomorrow. And um, I try to live my life every day that... Um, you know, that I would be okay if that was my last one. Now, don't believe me. I am not perfect. I am not saying that. There's lots of times, lots of days that I don't, I don't meet that quota. You know, there's times that people get under my skin. This past weekend, somebody got under my skin really bad, and she's done it before. Um, um, and it's, you know, there's no cause for rude or unkind remarks. Uh, we don't know what that person might be going through. Um, and, you know, it's, to me, it's just so much easier to be nice than it is to be ugly and rude to people. It's just, you don't always have to get the last word in and you don't always have to be right. If you're wrong, apologize. If, you're, if you feel like that you've done something that caused somebody some hurt, Tell them you're sorry. You know, that's not going to kill you. Tell them you're sorry. Maybe they've done you wrong and they're not going to apologize to you. But that, that doesn't matter. What matters is you. We are responsible for ourselves, no one else. So, of course, if you're, you know, if you've got kids, you're responsible for them. But I, what I'm talking about is your, your life, your soul. So, um, cake flower box. Let's see if I can see this question. Um, is cake flour in a box like Betty Crocker. This is cake flour right here. Now, there are a lot of different brands, but this is one down, and this is what I use when I try to keep at least an extra box on hand. I don't use cake flour a lot, but when you want it, you don't want to have to run to the store and get it. So, yes, I do keep it in my pantry. Absolutely, Carolyn. Um, you know, if you... If you want to do something and you have the, have the means to do it and it doesn't interfere with your family's life, um, you know, take the trip. <laughs> Buy the shoes, eat the cake. Absolutely. You, you never know. Um, uh, you just, we don't know when our, when our number's up. You don't. We should live every day to the fullest. Absolutely. So um, back to cake pans. I'm, I'm skipping around from one thing to the other because I'm trying to answer questions too. But um, Mama and Ma and Pinky Ma, I guess they had those cake pans that had that little thing around it that you would, I don't, some of you will know what I'm talking about. It's like a little, um, little piece inside, inserted in the cake pan. And you, when you get the cake down, you go around it and that releases the cake. They didn't have cake releasers or cake testers or anything like that. I guess they used toothpicks, but, um, those were the pans they used and they were, they were not, you know, they were just everyday pans, not anything expensive. Now my Aunt Faye, which is one of the best cooks in my opinion of all time, Molly and my Aunt Faye and my Aunt Elsie and my mama, they were, and Aunt Laverne, they were just fantastic cooks. And so was my Pinky Mall, but Pinky Mall cooking wasn't her thing. Um, I have used Wilton cake pans uh, for years, but then I started using the Fat Daddy O's, and I am just, they're my favorite cake pans. So if you bake a lot of cakes, um, Invest in a couple of pans. Um, I I think if you do bake a lot of cakes, you probably need uh, at least two of the same size in on my eight inch cake pans, which that's what I use the most. I have probably at least four or five because if you wanted to bake two cakes, you don't have to wait till the one gets clean before you can put another one in the oven. But for most people, two two cake pans of one size would be sufficient. But if you want a bargain, 
uh, go to one of the discount stores. Now, they don't sell them at Walmart or Target or Kmart. You'll have to go to like a TJ Maxx or a Home Goods or Tuesday morning. They don't always have them, but they do have them a lot. And they have sheet pans, loaf pans, tube pans. Um, oh, my goodness, baking sheet pans. There's a lot of different things. In fact, the other day, I even saw a... a um, a couple of things I hadn't seen before in Fat daddy -O. So, um, it's a good quality. And um, just a word to the wise, don't do like I do. Order them on Amazon and pay twice for them. And then find out that you can get them at the discount stores. Because that's where you're going to set your money at. Okay, let's see here. Uh, okay, interested in the icing recipes. Um, oh, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. She's in Burke Burnett. I know Marilyn. We met her one time. Um, the marshmallow fluff, um, it, it does, you do have to use the mixer and, and you didn't actually mention marshmallow fluff, but somebody else did. And the buttercream, I've made buttercream on video before and I can certainly make it again. Um, I can make the marshmallow fluff on video. It's just, um, you have to understand if I do everybody, not, not you, Marilyn, I'm not saying to you particularly, but, um, uh, there will be noise because I will use my big mixer and it makes more noise than the small one. But I do have to do that today. So, um, and the marshmallow fluff, um, you can actually refrigerate it. And uh, I've never refrigerated seven-minute icing. So this is a little different from seven-minute icing. And the reason I'm making it is because I'm going to use it uh, probably to frost one of these cakes, but I'm also going to add some of it into my buttercream. So uh, this will be uh, something that I don't do often, but I'm going to add some. You can't buy marshmallow fluff here. I know they have it. Um, I'm going to say Pennsylvania because I've seen it in Pennsylvania, but I know they have it in the Northeast and maybe in other parts of the country too. But um, um you can make your own. You don't have to worry about buying it. Just make your own. It's extremely expensive if you order it on Amazon. I've looked at it several times, and I am not paying 16 or $17 for a little tiny container when I can make it in my kitchen. I'm just not going to do it. So, Marilyn, y'all stay safe and, cold and warm up there. I know it's probably going to be freezing rain in a lot of different areas um, across North Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and probably a lot of parts of the other country, the mid Midwest and also the Northeast, but, um, stay, stay safe and warm. And, um, everyone, please, if you're out driving, be very careful. I had to run to Walmart yesterday, uh, to pick up a couple of things. And I thought I was going in between the heavy rain bands. Well, evidently not. It's only like 16 miles from our house, but it rained so hard going, it was literally, my windshield wipers were on high as they would go, and you could not even see the road, and the same thing coming back, but it was in spurts. It would rain real hard, and then it would stop, um, and on the way home, there was a little red car that I'm sure they had hydroplane. It was a one-car accident, and they were off in the ditch, completely turned around. It looked like it had turned over because it was really, really uh, crushed pretty bad, and it hit a power pole, and um, I don't know if anyone was hurt or not, but that's the third accident on 59 in the last probably 10 days. Uh, one person, I think, was killed and one of the others, um, and it's just, it, you just need to be careful when you're out in this weather, and remember, you can't drive 70, 75 miles an hour when it is coming a rainstorm, and you can't drive that fast when the roads have ice or when it's sleeting or freezing rain. I'd be hard pressed to get out at all because I don't drive in sleet and freezing rain and snow. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say it. I don't like it. I, it terrifies me. And the few times that I have driven in it when I was out uh, working full time on the road, um, it just, it, it takes something out of you. <laughs> I don't like it at all. 
So for those of you who are used to driving in it, my hat's off to you because I sure am not. And people in, people in Texas, especially East Texas, they don't know how in the world to drive in, in sleet and ice. So we try to stay off the roads if we can. Um, when we grew up, we did have something sweet. I guess that's probably why I love sweet so much. Um, probably every day mama had something now mike on the other hand he didn't and for many many years after we were married um he could take them or leave them now he loves candy he loves good chocolate he loves dark chocolate um uh, and i don't um i like milk chocolate but i can do without candy but i love cakes and pies and cookies and stuff like that uh, because you know mama always made it and you grew up on it and and i was just used to having it so and um, I want to also say this. We don't say this very often, but thank y'all for the stars. We don't ask or expect those. Sandy, uh, you are such a sweetheart. You're always giving us stars, and many others are too. But I just want to acknowledge that and say thank, thank y'all. Um, and yes, we do have to pray for people that um, get under our skin, and we shouldn't let them get under our skin. But sometimes it happens. You know, we're human. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, yeah, they used what they had, and uh, and it was delicious food. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't didn't have to be fancy uh, things to prepare it. They just knew how to cook, and it was it was very it was very delicious. Okay, um, I've been on about forty five minutes, and that's probably as long as y'all want to hear me sit here and talk. But um, uh, it's just so important to me um, to to be kind to people. And we always tell y'all to count your blessings. And, you know, there's a scripture, I believe it's in Psalms, that says enter, enter into to his courts with praise and into his, and I'm not, I'm not quoting the scripture right, but in his presence with thanksgiving. And I was always taught before you start praying, the first thing you should do is start thinking thanking him for everything that he's done and that every prayer that I pray starts with thanksgiving because I believe that we do not need to forget to acknowledge where our blessings come from. That is something that I am, I am so, um, it's so set in me just like other things that are, I'm so passionate about that is something that, um, that I've lived with all of my life and I've, definitely want to make sure that I don't forget to thank God for his blessings. Uh, the cordless mixer, mixer is Pampered Chef. It's a part of a set. So if you want more information about that, you can send us a private message and I'll let you know. Um, okay, so we are going to pick a winner from today's um, little program here. And... Um, so I haven't quite decided what I'm going to give away. I had something in my mind. I told Carla I was going to go back there and find something, and then I never did because I got busy in here. But um, uh, when we announce a winner, and I will put it on the page, there'll be a, a comment that will tell the winner. And um, because we had a little on, our, on one of our giveaways, um, it's really, it's hard to explain this, but we get so many texts and messages that sometimes it takes a long time to go back and find them. So when I'm giving us something away at my house, I'm going to ask you to text me my personal phone number. So I will put that on the announcement when I give the winner's name. And you're going to have 24 hours to text me your address. Please do not put addresses in comments. Um... It's not a good idea for one thing. And the other thing is we probably would never find it maybe for days later. So um, if I give away something here while I'm cooking it in my house, I will, I will list my personal phone number and you have 24 hours to get me your address. When we're at Mary's house, you'll be texting to her phone. The birthday giveaways are at the end of the month. Uh, the last week of the month, which if you have a birthday in January, not any other month, but in January, text your name, 
an address and your birth date. Like today is the 30th. We don't want the year. Just text your name and address to 903-235-4804. 903-235-4804 for birthdays. Don't tell me your birthday's in March or November. It's for the current month, which this is January. So if you have a birthday and we'll draw um, and let y'all ne know next week who won the birthday, uh, the monthly birthday uh, apron. And again, you're going to have 24 hours to give us your name and address. And that's not meant to be mean or cruel. It's just so difficult for us to go back and try to remember, did this person, you know, ever give us their, uh, their name and address? And then, you know, um, we are so busy and we got several things going on right now that we'll be telling y'all about. And it's really hard for us to um, keep up with and go back and find that. So we're going to give you 24 hours. Now, the person's name that I drew the other day for the Burger Press, I've never gotten her address. Um unless you sent it to Mary, um, and if you did, um, um, the, I believe the name was Angie Cook, um, and if you did send it to Mary, I meant to ask her this morning, but she's had a really busy weekend, so Angie Cook, if you're watching this, I'm going to give you until this afternoon, um, just in case you did send it, uh, would you text your address to 903 Two three eight three nine nine three. If you already sent it to Mary, I apologize about that. But if we don't get that information by this afternoon, I'm going to draw another name. So um, I think we're being more than fair because it's been several days. And again, if you sent it to Mary, I apologize about that. But I hadn't gotten it yet, and um, it's just so hard, you know, to go back and look through several days. So if you if you did send it or if you didn't send it, if you will be kind enough to send it to me, then I'll get it mailed. If I don't get it by 5 o'clock this afternoon, then I'm going to draw another name. So um, I, hope that, I hope that makes sense, and I hope that y'all are okay with that. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, yep, you'll pretty much always know where you stand with me. <laughs> I'm a little, just a little tiny bit like my pinky mom. <laughs> um, and I don't mean, I don't mean that to be ugly and I won't be ugly to anybody, but, um, but I'm not going to tell you a lie neither. <laughs> I will be honest with you if you ask me something. So if you don't want to know, don't ask me. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I think I'm going to, um, get off. I will post pictures when the cakes get done. And, well, my buzzer's going off, so I will check. I don't think it's done, but I will check it to be sure. Oh, no, 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 it's not done. Okay, it's pretty and white. Uh, this is a beautiful cake, and... Um, um, I'm going, I set the timer for a few more minutes and I'll check it again. So, um, I will, I will see if I'm going to do, um, uh, one of the frostings this afternoon or if I may do it in the morning. Um, but I would like to make the marshmallow fluff just because I've never made it on live. I have made the buttercream, so I probably wouldn't have to make that. But, um, thank you again for joining me. Miss my sister. Um. Everyone say a prayer for Chuck. We don't know how that's going to come out with Einstein. So uh, keep, you know, keep that in mind too. Chuck loves his dog. And um, and we will be, uh, if I don't get back on this afternoon to make the marshmallow fluff, I won't create an event for it. So uh, try to see if, if I am on, what I may do if I decide to go back on, I may just post a comment. I'm going to be live in a few minutes. Um and, of course, you can always watch it on replay. But we'll be on in the morning at 10 o'clock, Mary and I together, and we're going to be putting together these beautiful uh, Valentine's surprises. And um, hope you have a wonderful Monday. Be sure to count your blessings. Stay safe and stay warm. 
and uh, stay off the roads if you're in an area where the weather is bad. So I love y'all. Thank you, Carla, for helping me. And um, we will see y'all tomorrow if I don't if I don't get back on later on this afternoon. Bye bye. Oh, and I will announce the winner later on. So watch for the comment for that. Love y'all.